Hi, I'm Emily Fletcher, founder of Ziva Meditation and creator of Ziva Online, our brand new online meditation training that gives you a powerful way to get rid of stress in your brain and your body. Now, once you graduate from Ziva Online, you will have a daily practice to take with you for life. And this practice is a combination of meditation, mindfulness, and manifesting tools. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the most exciting new research behind and benefits of meditation. I'll share how meditation helped me during my 10-year career on Broadway and how after teaching thousands of high performers like you and working with some of the world's leading neuroscientists, we developed the Ziva Technique, which is that powerful trifecta of meditation, mindfulness, and manifesting tools. So let's start with what does Ziva mean? Ziva is a Sanskrit word that means bliss. It's also a Hebrew name that means one who is radiant or kind. And since bliss, radiance, and kindness are very common side effects of meditation, it felt like a good name. Plus, I thought it would look good in a tote bag, which it totally does. <laughs> so that's what the word ziva means, but the word meditation is a little bit trickier to define because we all have our idea of what we think meditation is, especially as it's getting more and more popular. Now, most of us think that meditation means that we're supposed to magically stop our brains from thinking, or that we're just sitting in a chair breathing, or that we have to stop drinking wine or start doing yoga in order to meditate. But I'm gonna lay all those fears to rest during this video and let you know that meditation is quite simply a stress relieving tool. That's it. And it sounds simple, but there are so many different types of meditation out there, it's hard to know which one is best for you. Almost every day there's another app that comes out, or another YouTube video, or another drop-in studio that opens up. And some of these are great, and they help you deal with your stress in the right now. Kind of like if you have a headache and you take an aspirin and you feel better in the right now, which is awesome. But what Ziva does is that it not only helps you deal with your stress in the right now, it helps you get rid of all the old stress from your past that gets stored in your body. And this is the thing that dramatically improves your brain function. It is the thing that improves your performance. Now we do this by giving you deep healing rest during the practice. Ziva actually gives you rest that is five times deeper than sleep. And that is not an insignificant point because after just a few minutes of practicing, you feel like you took this supercharged power nap without the sleep hangover. And you will have gotten rid of some of that old stress in the body, which gives you more mental computing power for the task at hand. So this thing is gonna help you perform at the top of your game in every area of your life, which I would argue is the whole point of meditation, right? We meditate to get good at life, not to get good at meditation. So I found meditation during my 10 year career on Broadway. I was doing a chorus line, understudying three of the lead roles, which means you show up to the theater and really have no idea which character you're going on for. Sometimes I would start the show as one character and halfway through they'd switch me to a different character, which long story short, it was intense. I started having insomnia. I couldn't sleep through the night for 18 months. I started going gray at the tender age of 26. I was getting sick and injured all the time. So here I am living my dream on Broadway, doing the thing I had wanted to do since I was a child and I was miserable. So thankfully I went to this meditation talk and I liked what I heard. It made sense to me. And on the first day of the first course I was meditating. And then that night I slept through the night for the first time in 18 months. And I have every night since, and that was 10 years ago. And then everything started getting better. I stopped getting sick. I stopped getting injured. I stopped going gray. I started enjoying my job again. And I was wondering, why does everyone not do this? Basically, meditation has upleveled my performance and my life so dramatically that I felt inspired and compelled to share it with others. So I left Broadway. I went to India. I trained for three years to be a teacher. And to be honest, it's the most exciting thing I've ever done. But as I started working with more and more high performers, I realized that people come to me when they're ready to really step into their full potential. And meditation is a piece of that, a really important piece, but there are other tools that can help you realize your dreams with elegance. So I started creating custom mindfulness visualizations for students who were performing at the Oscars or negotiating a big NBA contract. We made some for parents who wanted to be more present with their kids, people wanting a better night's sleep and everything in between. Now we also started using some manifesting tools, basically to remove everyone's biggest fear, your fear of your success. And thus the Ziva Technique was born. So the Ziva Technique is this combination of meditation, mindfulness, and manifesting. And by combining these three techniques together, our students are experiencing materially better performance and they report enjoying their lives a whole lot more. So this was all working great for our students in New York and LA, but what started happening is that as their lives got better, they wanted to share it with their friends and family who oftentimes didn't have access to a teacher. 
And this is why I created Ziva Online. I want people all over the world to have access to these life-changing tools. And all you need to do this training is a laptop, an internet connection, and a willingness to learn. So now that you understand where the Ziva technique came from, let's cover the three most common misconceptions about meditation. So by far the number one most common misconception is that we think we're supposed to give our minds a command to stop thinking. Now here's the news, y'all. No one can give their mind a command to stop thinking. And you might have heard me say this before, but I'm gonna keep on saying it until no one ever says to me again, Emily, I tried to meditate, but I had so many thoughts. So here's the thing, your mind thinks involuntarily, just like your heart beats involuntarily. So trying to give your mind a command to stop thinking is as effective as trying to give your heart a command to stop beating. It doesn't work and it's not the point of meditation. The point of Ziva meditation is to give your body deep rest so that you can get rid of stress in your nervous system and perform at the top of your game. Now, I've been meditating for over 10 years and I've never once had a thought-free meditation. So either I have no business teaching this or it's not the point. And you can decide that after you graduate from Ziva online. Okay, so the second most common misconception about meditation is that we think we're supposed to already magically know how to do it. That somehow I should be able to just sit in a chair and meditate. But you guys, meditation is like any other skill. It takes a bit of practice and a good teacher. Now, the third most common misconception about meditation is that you don't have time to do it. And look, I get it. I understand why most people think that they don't have time. It's because they don't know how to meditate. Because if they knew how to meditate, they'd actually start to have more time. Now, sure, you might have downloaded a free app that you're not using, or you think it's boring and a waste of time, but I can tell you from firsthand experience that meditation is anything but boring, and it's gonna make your waking state even more fascinating. Your sex gets better, your brain gets faster, your immune system gets stronger, and you're gonna start feeling more connected to the people, places, and things around you. And as far as it being a waste of time, I've really never heard anything farther from the truth. When you get tired, sick, and stressed, your brain and body slow down and stop performing at the top of their game. Stress makes you stupid, and meditation is designed to get rid of the stress in your body by giving you that deep rest. And this helps you to perform at the top of your game more of the time. So let's talk a little bit about the neuroscience behind meditation, shall we? So in the style of meditation that you learn in Ziva Online, you're accessing a verifiable fourth state of consciousness. It's different than waking, sleeping, or dreaming. And in this state of consciousness, your right and left brains are working in unison. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between the right and left brains. Your right brain is the piece of you that's in charge of the right now. It's in charge of present moment awareness that we're all searching for. It's the thing that's in charge of your creativity, your connectedness, your intuition, all your great ideas. These all hang out in your right brain. Now the left brain is the piece of us that's in charge of the past and the future. It's in charge of language, critical thought, analytical thought, math, balancing your checkbooks, all super important, but for most of us, we've been taking our left brain to the gym, just thinking, taking action, achieving, making money so we can be happy in the future. Meanwhile, our poor little right brains are over here atrophying. Our right brain's like, hey, I have a creative idea. I have a suggestion. You're like, shut up, right brain. I gotta think and take action, achieve and make money so I can be happy in the future. But through Ziva Online, you're actually gonna start taking your right brain to the gym. You're gonna to start to integrate the right and left hemispheres of your brain. And you quite literally are strengthening the synapses in your brain. Now, how do we know this? Well, there's a thin strip in between the right and left hemispheres of your brain, and it's called the corpus callosum. And we've known for a long time that meditators have thicker corpus callosums than non-meditators, but we weren't able to prove if it was causal or correlated meaning that we weren't sure if the meditation was the thing making that thing thicker. But now we know that the longer you meditate, the thicker the corpus callosum becomes, which is a pretty cool party trick, but who cares? Why do I care if I have a fat corpus callosum? Well, everyone should, and here's why. The thicker this thing is, it's quite literally the bridge between your critical mind and your creative mind. This is the thing that allows you to be more in the present moment, more able to access your creative problem-solving ideas even when the chips are down, even when the heat is on. Okay, so a real-life example of this would be, let's say you're at work and there's an intense deadline happening and your boss is getting really frustrated and eventually you start freaking out and then you just shut down and you retreat to your office. And about two hours later, once 
once you calm down, you start coming up with all these amazing ideas, all these really creative solutions. And you're like, why? Why couldn't I have thought of those ideas when I was talking to my boss? And so my hypothesis is, is that the thicker your corpus callosum is, the easier it is for you to download these creative ideas when it counts, when it's go time. So when you get stressed, your body launches into an involuntary fight or flight stress reaction. And in order to understand why our body does this, we have to actually go back in time a few thousand years. And let's say we're hunting and gathering in the woods. I don't know why, but this is my version of hunting and gathering in the woods. Okay, so we're hunting and gathering and a saber-toothed tiger jumps out at us with the intent to kill. Well, at this point, your body is gonna launch into a series of chemical reactions to help protect you from this tiger. First thing that happens is that your digestive system floods with acid to shut down digestion because it takes a lot of energy to digest our food and we need all hands on deck to fight or flee this predator. Now that same acid will seep onto your skin so that you don't taste very good if that tiger tries to eat you. Then your blood will start to thicken and coagulate so that if you get bitten, you don't bleed to death. Your vision will go from here to here so that you're not distracted from your opponent. Your bladder and bowels will evacuate so that you're light on your feet to fight or flee. So you know those nervous poos you get before you have a big situation? That's your body trying to protect you. Now your blood pressure will increase, your cortisol levels will increase, and your immune system goes to the back burner. Because who cares if you're gonna get cancer if you're about to be killed by a tiger? Now this series of chemical reactions is actually very useful. It's very beneficial if your demands are saber-toothed tigers. Now, I don't know when the last time you got attacked by a tiger was, but my guess is it wasn't that recently. Now our demands are text messages and phone calls and traveling and airplanes and in-laws and breakups and overnight flights, none of which call for a fight or flight stress reaction. As a matter of fact, this fight or flight stress reaction has become maladaptive. It's now keeping us from performing at the top of our game. Our body and our mind are using so much energy to prepare for these imaginary predator attacks that we have very little energy left for the present moment. And guess where your bliss and fulfillment hang out? Right here, right now. Bliss is found in the now or not at all. And this is great to understand as a concept, but it is much, much more powerful to be able to experience this tangibly and viscerally every day, twice a day. And this is what Ziva Online is gonna give you. It's gonna give you the tools to get out of fight or flight and access your bliss and fulfillment inside of you. It's gonna give you the tools to get rid of the stress in your nervous system that you've been accumulating for your entire life so that you can perform at the top of your game. Your insomnia will be a thing of the past. You can kiss your jet lag goodbye. You can throw away your Xanax. Your brain gets faster. Your immune system gets stronger. Your sex gets better. You may even have better parking karma. And most people, when they hear that list, they're like, A, you sound like a used car salesman, and B, how can meditation do all of those different things? But the better question that we should be asking is how does stress mess all of those things up? Okay, so let's do an exercise together. I want you to think about any ailment that you might have right now. And don't worry, you're not gonna do this out loud so you can be really honest. I mean anything, like my boss is a weenie, I skinned my knee, I just broke up with someone. Any ailment. Do you have one? Okay, now ask yourself the question, does stress make this ailment worse or better? Now, unless your ailment is, I need to lift a car off of a baby, or I'm currently outrunning a tiger, then the answer is stress makes it worse. Now, meditation is the single most effective stress relieving tool there is. And when you get rid of the stress in your body, the benefits of that are almost limitless. All right, friends, so I wanna give you a little sneak peek inside of Ziva Online. Now, the cool thing about Ziva Online is that it's designed to make you self-sufficient. You won't need me or Wi-Fi or an app or any gongs or any finger symbols in order to meditate. The course really is a matriculation so that you understand the foundation of meditation and you can take these tools with you for life. So in addition to learning mindfulness, meditation, and manifesting tools, inside of Ziva Online, you're also gonna have access to some pretty rad bonus audios. Now these are gonna help you with jet lag, help you have deeper sleep. There's a pep talk to help you on a first date. There's something called a love bomb and all kinds of goodies to where if you like me guiding you, you'll have that as well. 
then you're gonna graduate an expert meditator with these three tools, the meditation, the mindfulness, and the manifesting to take with you for life. Now it's best to watch one training a day, but you can do this in your own time. You'll need about 15 minutes for the training videos and approximately 15 minutes for the meditation each day. That's it. Give me five hours of your time and I'll give you back your life. Now there's two different ways you can do Ziva online. It happens interactively once a year. Now this means that once a year there's live Q&A calls with me and meditators from around the world. We all start on the same day and move through the training together. This creates a powerful sense of community and accountability and it really creates a feeling of connectedness and a little bit of urgency because we all know that meditation is one of these incredibly important but not one bit urgent activities. Now the other way you can do the program is a customizable version. This means you can choose whatever start date works best for you. I know that most of us have a very busy schedule and sometimes we want what we want when we want it. Now, if you're ready to get going right away, you can access the customizable version just by going to zivameditation.com, choosing the start date that works for you, and there you go. And don't worry, you won't miss those Q&A calls with me. You'll have recordings of those that you can listen to in your own time. All right, friends, thank you for your time. It's been such a joy to share this with you. I hope you learned a little something and enjoyed yourself. And I do hope to see you at Ziva online.